Hello and happy Sunday. So today what I want to do is compare these um, Star Wars retro collection figures with the original ones from 1977. And um, I have all of their 1977 counterparts here. And I want to see... And I'm sure a lot of you are curious as to how close these are to the old ones. In case, you know, people were, would want to try to sell these misrepresenting them as real. And how would... Or if you wanted to look at these as replacements, how could you integrate them into your collection and so forth. So I think there's a lot of reasons... Um, now, obviously, if you look at this packaging, uh, a collector's not going to be fooled by the fake, um, you know, scratches on the card. Um, the way the bubble is different, like, for example, in, in the 70s, um, there was no inner bubble that held them straight. They were, they were just bounced around inside of the bubble and the, the weapon was taped uh to the um inside of the bubble instead of being like placed in there so and i just want to see you know if it feels like the same plastic or the the country of origin mark how that looks on it the dates how the vinyl capes feel all of these things and i mean i can already see a few differences like for example this original quite dusty darth vader uh is his helmet is not nearly as shiny as um, so, um I should have dusted these before I pulled them out um, and the stormtrooper obviously is not as white but this is from age um, I also want to see if they're the same size I want to see if they're truly the same mold um, so all of these figures are definitely have seen better days, but um, yeah, we want to see how the new ones stack up with the old ones. And what's interesting is this is a, a unique opportunity for collectors because if you always wanted these figures, now you can have them and they're still priced to own. And um, if you wanted to, you know, handle these or or whatever now you you have an opportunity to do that without paying a lot of money to have mint condition star wars figures so let's begin by uh going over the packaging and this is very much looks like the action figures i got as a kid um i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure that these colors are correct there is a sticker on each one it says retro collection and i don't know how easily that sticker comes off but say you wanted to display these without the sticker. I will say that sticker's on pretty good. And I don't think it's going to come off very easily. It's not. Um, the sticker's on really, really tight so um you're not gonna be able to get that off very well without some kind of extra resource um the back of it obviously is completely different than the original card backs that were yellow and had uh pictures of the figures this is a picture of the early bird um wave thing that you could send off for back in the 70s it says the Star Wars Retro Collection is inspired by 1970s Star Wars figures and features original figure design and detailing. Continue your collection from the galaxy far, far away. And um, and they've made several waves of these. They've, they've made an Empire Strikes Back wave, which had Yoda, Boba Fett, uh, Leia in Hoth gear, Han in Hoth gear, Luke in the Bespin Fatigues, um... 
Is that all of them? And the Lando Calrissian. And then they, a Return of the Jedi wave is coming out that has uh, Luke in his Jedi outfit. Um, Lando, I think, in the disguise. Uh, Leia in the Bounty Hunter disguise. Um, Han in the trench coat. Um, oh. I'm not sure what the other ones are. Um. But, uh, I'm trying to think, what are the other ones? I don't think there's Ewoks or anything, so, they're really, these are f focusing on, you know, the main characters. Oh, the Biker Scout, I think, is in the next, coming up in it. So, they're obviously also not making, you know, reuse of the rare ones, I don't think. So, now that we've kind of gone over the packaging, we've got the, the photos from the movies, just like how it appeared on the original packaging. Um, interesting to point out that the Stormtrooper was one of the first cases where they psychologically showed you that you should buy more than one. This was a way to point out that this was an army builder by showing two Stormtroopers on the package. That was very cleverly done. So you would know, so your parents would know to buy you at least two of these. Okay, so let's start. Let's, um, this is how, as a kid, you would be excited to get these and open them up. And just rip them open. So here is the new Han. And his blaster. Which is black. Very much like the original one. It looks very similar. And he holds it just like the original. Uh, very, very similar. Um, the differences are slightly different shade of brown for the hair. Um, I, it appears to be essentially the same mold. You have the, the red stripe down the pants. Black shiny vest. Um, if we look at the original Han Solo, you can see it says Hong Kong, and it says 1977, G, so, and on this new one, It says Hasbro, China, and it has um, a white code uh, lasers printed on it here. And I don't see a date. So it's in the same spot, but they but it's different. Some other things. Uh, the holster is a different finish than his pants on the new one and on the old one it's the same shiny uh plastic the red stripe on the old one is only on the left leg yet it's on the right leg too so there are some pretty obvious differences the face looks somewhat different, like they had a mold that wasn't quite as detailed. The plastic also, um, well, I would say the plastic feels about the same. And 
and of course the same articulation the blaster um uh, i mean virtually the same very very similar and he holds it about the same way so i mean it if you know what you're looking for, you can obviously tell the difference. Obviously, the first way to tell is the um, the COO mark, country of origin, and the date is the biggest giveaway. So, next, let's open Luke Skywalker. This is the farm boy Luke. Um... It got a little plastic lump there, but it's no big deal. Very uh, bright yellow hair. Um, the plastic, to me, feels just slightly stiffer than uh, what is softer plastic on the original one. So there's a few more differences on this one. The hair is obviously a different shade of yellow. Um, the belt is black on the new one and brown on the old one, or a dark shade of brown. The uh, leggings are a completely different shade of tan. Other than that, it's pretty doggone close. If we look at the old one, this says Taiwan, 1977, and here on the new one, it says Hasbro LFL Lucasfilm Limited in China. It's also a dark spot here, like something had poorly printed right here there's obviously some text printed here that didn't transfer very well oh i didn't point out the pegs on the feet the same, roughly the same size but the seam the factory mold seam is obviously in a different place um the lightsaber extends very well the the yellow shade you can use the lever or the switch or whatever to bring it back in Another thing is these the new figure doesn't hold his blaster as well as the old figure because it's like the plastic is almost too stiff. You see, it doesn't. The other one's been holding that blaster like that for twenty something years. And this one can barely get it in his hand and keep it in his hand, which is kind of a problem if you want to display them. Yeah, he doesn't hold it very well. So, old look and new look. Let's uh, do it like this. Have the old on top, the new on the bottom. Um, let's look at Leia now. Um, this is the old Leia. With her original cape, her original blaster. It says, um, made in Hong Kong, 1977. Let's open the new one.
So this is the new Leia. Uh, much, much brighter white. Face looks uh, about the same, but the shade of brown is different. Uh, there was actually silver paint applied on the old belt and not on the new, which is interesting. So the belt is absolutely different. That's surprising that they didn't do that silver paint. She holds the blaster um, pretty well. It looks pretty much exactly like the old one. The new mark is the Hasbro in China and then this part printed on. The cape feels like a thicker material of vinyl or plastic. It doesn't feel as uh, flimsy as the old one. It feels stiffer. It's uh, folded down like this too. My old one might have originally been, <coughs> excuse me, but I think it um, might have flipped up over time. The, the biggest complaint I have about this is they didn't use the silver paint on the belt. It, all things considered, it looks pretty good. I mean, these are really pretty well done replicas. Um, Next, we'll finish with the Rebels with Chewbacca here. So he is here with his bowcaster that doesn't have the sort of crossbar part. Interesting, um, they didn't really show his bowcaster, but in one scene in episode four, it was when he was walking into the Millennium Falcon. It, we didn't see it again until the Minox scene in episode five, and then we saw him actually use it for the first time in episode six. So Chewie is very similar. Um, he has blue eyes, and I know that some of them had blue eyes, and mine doesn't. Um, This says Hong Kong, 1977. And the bowcaster is very, very much very similar. Same mold, it looks like. I mean, this is the closest one. The eyes are a different color, but the teeth are painted. Um, my nose is rubbed off over time, but it was originally black like this. He's uh, taller than Han, but probably not as tall as he should be, but he, he looked great. This was a lot of, and when the figures came out, a lot of people considered this their favorite one. I, I definitely thought Chewie was my favorite figure. I mean, I just had to have Chewie uh, when I was making scenes or or playing with them. Chewie was always my favorite figure. So the bandolier has the same spot covered up by fur. And on the back looks about the same. So Chewie is the closest um, of these figures. Next, let's open the Stormtrooper. All right, 
Stormtrooper was like Chewy. He did not have a, a movable head. It was molded on. He has the Imperial Blaster, which um, it has a, about the same mold. It has the handle that with the texture on the handle. Um, let's compare. So my old Stormtrooper, he's yellowed and worn down. He, he's got a blue blaster. Um, sometimes you probably probably the original blaster came came with someone else or was with someone else this is 1977 and you can see the differences on the maker mark on the back almost identical except one is older But he he looks good. It's nice to have a brand new shiny stormtrooper now. Um, he looks really good compared to this old stormtrooper. And um, once again, we're seeing this problem of being able to hold the blasters because I think the plastic is a stiffer plastic that it doesn't like mold to the blaster like the old ones did finally we have uh the bad guy darth vader my old original darth vader um this cape is torn a little bit um it's lightsaber but he you know it still looks pretty decent and the new Darth Vader. Well, as a little kid, I was so excited to get one of these. Uh, Darth Vader was just the... Uh, he was the chase figure at the time. He was hard to get. No matter what movie was out, it was always hard to find a Darth Vader. Okay, so here's the new one. And let's start by looking at the detailing under his cape. And it is nice, fresh new paint, but the belt buckle is different. The first thing I'm noticing is the belt buckle either isn't painted all the way, a different, it's a shade of silver instead of white, and it doesn't seem to be as big. The, it looks like if they made any changes to the mold, this was the most drastic of the changes, because the figure does look somewhat different. It's shinier, and the molding does look slightly different, to tell you the truth. Um, it has the new Hasbro maker mark on it. The lightsaber, uh, almost identical shade of, of uh, red. Well, not quite. It's a little darker. But the thing, the things that jump out at me, it does seem to be a new, of, the, of all of the modes, this seems to be the most changed. You just see subtle differences. Um, there's just more definition on the new one. The belt is, the buckle is obviously different. Um, generally speaking, everything else looks about the same. Uh... A different shade uh, or just a different shinier texture too I mean it looks good don't get me wrong it looks great the same as Leia's cape this feels like a stiffer material whereas I think this original material was vinyl this is some kind of plastic I think it doesn't feel like it's gonna last as long And they're ready to have their duel, which was, you know, what you wanted to do when you first got these figures was have 
your lightsaber duel between Luke or, or Obi-Wan and But they still look good. I mean, these new ones... Another thing about the old figures is they weren't as standardized as the new ones. So there might very well have been different shades of this tan on Luke. Like, sometimes he had brown hair. <laughs> sometimes, like, the Yoda, his snake, sometimes was a different color than between figures. So the little variations were not uncommon among the older figures. And I liked this Darth Vader because you could put out that hand, the, the Luke, I'm your father hand, like that. And that really lent itself nicely to the Empire Strikes Back. Because he looked just like that pose when he was holding his hand out like that. So that was very cool. These do look really nice. Uh, the feet are completely different, as you can see. So I would say of all of the the ones that are different, the Darth Vader is certainly the most different of all of these. He's definitely... Um, I wish I could get Han to hold his blaster. He had to get to like the perfect little balancing point. He won't. He will not hold that thing. <laughs> Just do it like that. Sad. Okay, let's um put all the new ones together and see how uh, this fresh new set of action figures looks. Okay. These are all the new ones. You can tell by Chewie's blue eyes and his black nose that this is the new Chewie. And I think they look pretty good. You get to focus there a little bit. Um, I think if you wanted to display these on your shelf, it would look really nice. Um, and if you ended up collecting all the waves, you would have, and when it's all said and done, a, a pretty nice little collection of what appear to be vintage figures. I'm bummed that Han doesn't hold his blaster very well, so it'd be kind of hard to display him. Um, actually, none of them hold their blasters very well. And that's definitely because the plastic is a different type of plastic from what we saw with uh, the old ones. But it's a nice set. And I'm glad for what they did. I think that some people who dealt in old figures were probably a little miffed about all of this because no matter what... No matter what, this brings down the value of the old ones because now, if you're not very discriminating, you can have in your hands a set of essentially vintage Star Wars figures that looks and feels like the old ones without paying a fortune. Because to get figures that look this good in your hands... Now, and if you had to get the original ones, it would set you back quite uh, quite a lot of money, at least three or four hundred dollars to, to and to get them in this shape, much more than that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, bye, I'll see you next Sunday.